Hey everyone, this is Adam and Zach and Ken from Anchor Line and we want to share with you a piece called Les Edwards Story which we produced in the summer of 2014 and the purpose for this commentary is really just to give you um, some insight into our production process. Uh, this Les Edwards project was our first collaboration with the Glenn Group who are an ad agency based in North Conway, New Hampshire who we really enjoy working with. I'm going to jump right into the piece here and hitting play. Les has lived here all his life. So the first shots that you see are establishing shots. We got up very, very early. Um, we're up in Vermont by 5.30, shooting by 6.30. We're at Les Edwards' house. Uh, we're seeing uh, some of his lifestyle. He's a, he, he tinkers a lot, so we're, we're, sh we're showing a lot of shots of him in his environment doing his thing. We're also getting to meet Les's family, his grandson that you see there, and um, and his, his tractor. His tractor, his tractor <laughs> is part of his family. <laughs> Absolutely. Les loves that freaking tractor. Yeah, um, this is his son, Jeff. And Jeff and his grandson were both filmed on different days uh, than the, the rest of the production. I love the shot of that wood being thrown right on top of that, mm. that stack. Yeah, it was sort of a, um, a really happy piece to go into the edit, too. It gives you um, an idea of what's about to come. Uh, we tried to film a lot of stuff where it wouldn't feel like reenactments, but felt like normal everyday occurrences. Um, this is David, and David works very hard with Les often. Um, he's sort of like a surrogate son to Les, and um, they, they're awesome. They interact so well together. So I don't think at this point in the video it's even you're aware of the accident, are you? Uh, you just became aware of yeah. the accident when David told you. This is the path, um, that's a view up th that Les may have actually seen during the incident. Um, and you'll see the, the real location that this all happened. But yeah, you're right. Up until that point, about a minute and a half in, you have no idea what this video is even about. You just know it's something to do with Les and an accident. You're getting to know Les and his family and, and what they do. <laughs> that, uh, that soap is actually to keep deer away, um, which yeah. we learned on set. We learned a lot of things <laughs> sort of about um, country living that even though we all live relatively in the country, we didn't know. I mean, these people are completely self-sufficient. They're it's Vermont awesome. country. Yeah. <laughs> That's Les's brother. Les's brother, when we f heard him from the other room, we were like, uh-oh, you're not even going to be able to tell the difference between these two. They are, <laughs> they are so similar. We shot all interviews uh, with two cameras, which makes uh, for really uh, makes it a lot easier to edit, um, to edit out pieces, to choose what you want to, what you'd like to use in your edit, and it just makes for a more dynamic piece to watch when you have two angles to cut from. And they were also um, matching cameras. We used a C three hundred and a C five hundred. Uh, I believe this was the first job we used the C500 on, right. mm -hmm. and um, it was great because the color space matches, everything really, it matches very well, it edits um, super easily. Stylistically, um, you'll notice that there are kind of two scenes. There's the farm where Les lives, and then there's the hospital. And we really wanted to try to artistically create a different dynamic in the kind of shots that we were using in these two scenes. One thing that I think is particularly cool is that you see a handful of photographs throughout the piece, and we chose to not use digital photos, but to actually use the real photos and put them down on surfaces that we felt would um, help convey you know, the area. So on a tablecloth or on a table, a wooden table. Um, and, and I think that that's a really nice sort of treatment for the photos. You also see every once in a while that there are um, audio sound bites that don't belong to a sit-down interview. We wanted to get some audio sound bites, really clean audio while people were working or walking around. So Les was mic'd up most of the time. We, um, we went through all of that audio to try to find those pieces, those friendly sort of real story pieces. Sometimes those walk and talk sound bites are, are the most natural and, and they come across much more authentic than a, a sit down interview when somebody's got a camera in front of them. So we hope you enjoyed the video and if you'd like to see the uh, piece without our annoying commentary, again, look at the link below. Thanks a lot. Bye.